little scale of this piece. I've shown this piece before. I had it out again, and it's really a nice piece. So that piece looks like it almost looks like some sort of like a mallard duck or something. So anyway, that. And what I've done here, I can close this off to knock off some of that glare. So, anyway. So, you know, I've, I'm in the process of coming to grips with the reality of what's going on. The reality of what's going on. Can you hear me urinating? I was urinating into a bucket. That's my coffee pot. My, my coffee pot doesn't work right anymore, so what I do is I microwave water, which I do not suggest doing. Yet. My daughter, don't ever microwave water. Freaking stuff will blow up. But, so, anyway, I put the, I put the coffee grounds in the... Uh, in the thing on the in the container on the top and then I get the water and pour it in because the the heating unit still works. And so that's how I make coffee. So you know I've been thinking that there's going to be, you know, that sooner or later I'll be discovered. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. So I have to uh, come to grips with the reality of what's happening and change my whole course. I have to figure out how to, to produce something and trade it or do whatever I can do. And it has to be something that I enjoy doing, but it has to be a logical approach. It can't be this fairy tale approach that, yeah, you're gonna, someone's gonna notice your work and probably not going to happen. But if I start producing something that I enjoy doing that is something that is workable for me in my life, eh, it'll be good. If you take these paintings here, like these kind of paintings, I don't think I have the juice for those kind of paintings anymore. They take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Because the way that those paintings started out, they started out like this. Because I don't do studies. I just take up the brush, start painting, and come up with that. And then that gets processed into these paintings over here like this. So they all start off the same like that. I didn't... Uh, I didn't I didn't come up with an idea. Oh, I'll do that. I'll put that there and that there. It, none of that it happened. <clears throat> it was all <coughs> a very, uh, very free-flowing way it worked. So I, I, those, those are, those are interesting to do. I enjoy doing them. But I don't, I don't think that's, I don't think I'm going to get anywhere like that.
we'll see what happens. But I think, actually, I, I think coming to a realization that, that, uh, I think coming to, finally coming to a realization, you know, that, uh, If I want to, if I want to make this work, I've got to do it a different way. Because you know what I've been doing hasn't working, hasn't been working very well. Like this painting right here. I love that painting. It's great. This one, fabulous painting. That's awesome painting. Because I'm a painter. This piece right here. This piece, I did this piece because there's a guy named Philip Gustin. And Philip Gustin used to do paintings with this sort of thing right there in the center of his paintings. And I did this painting as a... Uh, this painting is called uh, Philip Goldstein. Philip Goldstein pre Marlboro. I think his name was Goldstein. He changed it to Philip Gustin. And the Marlboro Show. Look up Philip Gustin in the Marlboro Show. You learn a lot about him and his work. He's a very fascinating artist. This guy right here, Buffet. <clears throat> I think that's his girlfriend. But they all look, yeah, or his wife. This guy was big back in the, I don't know, 50s, I think. But look at all these, these pictures. They're all the same person. They're all the same person. It's really kind of fascinating to me. That's a beautiful crucifixion. I'm sure he built that, you know. Used that for his studies. Fabulous piece. This is his place. He he had a I mean when you're a successful artist Look at that, that studio right there looks uh, looks very reminiscent of, uh, what is that guy's name? Uh, oh, he's an English painter. What is his name? I can't remember his name now. But he, he looks like he, he made himself up to be a clown and then painted it, painted himself by uh, probably just by looking in a mirror and using his, his own face as a, as a model. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, a man, his wife, and his dog, and his mansion. Bernard Buffet. Bernard Buffet. Buffet. 56. Uh, see you later.